I'm going to give you instructions on how to fabricate what I call a centric occlusion repositioner, or if you'll see in the instructions, it's called a bite exerciser. Um, it's a very, very simple technique. We found it to be very effective in helping the patients in the morning to have their jaw joints relax, all the muscles relax. We're going to be using a material called Thermacryl, made by Airway Management Incorporated. And it's a thermoplastic material. It comes in these little beads that you can see here. And you only need, this is just a teaspoon, approximately half a teaspoon of this material. We have filled a cup with water, half full. We're going to place the material in there. And you can see that it's still in its pellet form. And we're going to place this in a microwave for two minutes. Placing the material in the microwave will turn it into a plasticized material that we will use for our centric occlusion repositioner. So our material has been in the microwave for two minutes and you can see it's very thermoplastic in nature. So I've molded this into just a small rectangle. I can place it back in the water to keep it warm until we can place it in the patient's mouth and that's what the next step will be. I've removed our Thermacryl from our warm water and I've placed some Vaseline on my gloves so this material won't stick to it. And once again you can mold it into a little rectangle and you simply seed it over the patient's lower anterior teeth. Stay open there, Debbie. And I like to stay between cuspid to cuspid. I'll now ask the patient to close on their back teeth, nice and tight. And you can see that we can form the material around her incisal edges on her maxillary teeth. Make sure that you don't have impingement of the tissue with your Thermacryl material, it's still pla in its plastic state and we're going to want to chill that. So we're going to take a suction and Morgan's going to use some water to chill it. and open them and close. Have the patient open and close a few times to verify that you're in your CO bite. Feel comfortable when it's in place, Debbie? Mm -hmm. yeah. And open. Verify that your cool water has initiated the set of the material and simply removed from the patient's mouth. This is now what I am calling a CO repositioner that the patient can use every morning. We'll take this to the sink and put it in some ice water to verify that it is nice and hard and set up. After adequate time in some ice water to verify that this is solid and completely set, we will deliver this to the patient Debbie, I'll let you try and place this over your lower front teeth, please. And close. Debbie, how's that feel? Perfect. Comfortable? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're going to have the patient, we're going to instruct the patient that in the morning when they remove their appliance, you saw on the use and care instructions, that as soon as they remove their appliance, they're to use the bite exerciser. They don't know what a CO repositioner is, so I'm calling it a bite exerciser. Have them place the bite exerciser on their lower front teeth, close their lower jaw till their upper jaw hits, and squeeze together. We're asking the patients to wear this for approximately five minutes. 
Once again, it helps to deprogram all the muscles and reseat the joint. And we have found this to be very, very effective and have had no patient complaints of joint pain, tension, or tenderness uh, when they've been using our CO repositioner. Go ahead and remove it now, Deb. Thank you. Once again, as you saw on our instruction sheet, they want to store this in um, just some cool water. Obviously, you want to make sure they don't run it under hot water because it would reintroduce the plastic state of the material. And we'll simply give this to the patient to put in their storage container for their appliance and use every morning. Mm -hmm.